Quick video for you guys all today on the Kindle Scribe. You will see right now we are at 5.16.3.1 and we're going to actually take this opportunity to look at what it looks like before the update and after the update. So we're gonna go to the web browser to start things off. We are on the Goody Reader website and we'll show that it looks like quite a mess and it is not meant to look good because it is basically not able to support a complex website like this. So let's just scan around right now. This is pre-update. You'll see how a lot of the pictures aren't showing. The carousel at the top isn't showing. It's a very slow, choppy experience. And I don't know how it's going to be after. Obviously, we can't film this in reverse. And we only have one Kindle Scribe that we test with. So let us click on one thing here and go to the Ultra C Pro eNote review and see how it kind of transitions into the next page. So it gets over there pretty quick. Now one of the things that we need to test is our overall browser score to see if it actually gets improved before the update and after. Now 152 out of 555 is terrible, you'll see right there. Now what we should be hitting is somewhere north of 400, that's kind of the key. And this website is set to allow you to tell you how well your browser supports HTML5 and whether I do it from my phone or from my laptop or from my PC or from this device, it'll be device specific, not your speed test of your Wi-Fi or your router, the actual browser score. So let's do the update and let's see what we have after. Again, because you're watching it the same kind of time we are, I have no idea what is going to be different here. If I go to device options and then device info, you will see now we are at 5.16.14. Let's stamp that for Mike. Now, what is new? This is what is new on the 5.16.4. We have Goodreads Streamline Experience and Performance Improvement Bug Fixes and Other General Enhancements. Now we're not going to look at Goodreads today. We are going to look at the performance improvements because word on the street is that the web browser has been overhauled to the point where it does function now on complex websites. Let's go to the same website we were on just before. This is the same HTML5 test website we just went to. We should be hitting a higher score now, 467. That makes more sense. Now you can notice here, it does say video elements is checked okay, but obviously because there's no speed modes, there's no user controllable way to make it faster other than a little bit of an A2 mode that it goes into when you're zooming, when you're fast scrolling, or you're doing certain things with inertia. Other than that, there's no actual way to system-wide change the speed modes like an Onyx, like a Big Me, etc. So we're not able to do any of that. But let's go back to Goody Reader and see if we can actually see the website now properly. Oh, that just, that is way nicer. Look at that. That just boomed right over to it there. Now, there are the images showing now as they were not before. And yes, we did have browser settings right here. You can enable disable images. We did have that on, of course, because we didn't change any of that. Ads are showing now too, so that's nice and well. I believe there is still a missing carousel. Oh no, it is loading. There we go. It took some time to develop it, but it w I thought it was not going to load, but it does have the carousel there now. If I try a tap on the carousel, am I able to command it? Doesn't seem that I'm able to quite touch the carousel just yet. I am. Okay, perfect. Again, there's no speed mode, so it's really having a hard time moving it around and finding its place. And it does hang a little bit, as you can see there. But this is leaps and bounds above what we just had on the screen a second ago. So once it kind of kicks back in, it takes a couple seconds. I should be able to move the screen around again. So there we go, now it's working again. You see, the thing about Amazon web browsers is they've never been good. Ever since the very beginning, in fact, they didn't even work until the Kindle Paperwhite 3. They just crashed, force closed, they said it doesn't have enough memory, etc. And actually, you will see the prompt that if we go back out and go back into the web browser, it should come up with a prompt that says it has limited memory right there. The browser has limited memory, is intended for use for simple websites. Now, although it does have a better HTML5 score than it did before, it is still limited by the fact that Amazon does not prioritize the web browser. They never have. They call it experimental for 11 generations. They called it experimental. They never prioritized it. They never put it front and center. In fact, on some devices, it was so hidden that people didn't even know it had a web browser. So they really have never showcased and spotlighted their own browser until now. Recently, it is starting to 
land in the list of applications center mass it says web browser as you can see right there they no longer call it experimental they no longer hide it with the little three dots in the top corner you don't have to search for it it is very much there however did have another update evidently it still has a little bit more work to go through but this is the latest update for amazon kindle scribes